I don't need to tell you that Los Angeles is not a real city. It's just a whole bunch of neighborhoods sharing the same name. One of our neighborhoods was called Central Avenue. And I know the avenue is still there, but what central is missing? People stayed up late, but they also got up early because their community was the entertainment center of town. Certainly thriving, if not prosperous, everybody knew everybody else. That was the place to go to see your friends. But you, you walked up and down Central to see your friends and to see what other people were doing. And you wanted to be with them. And you wanted to celebrate with them. And there they were. It was like the people from the avenue had their own world going. It was wonderful. Nobody seemed to mention it much outside of the area. And now it was probably better than we all knew. was the Club Alabama. They had Johnny Otis's big band in there with a stage show, chorus girls and everything. T. Bone Walker, blues singer as the star. Across the street was the last word. I think you got the pictures of it with jam sessions going on. All the jam sessions at that time were bebop oriented. And what made bebop so important, they would have after hour jam sessions. When you leave the downbeat or the Alabama one of them clubs there, you could go down to Jack's Basket Home on 33rd and Central, where you'd have Dexter Gordon, Miles Davis, Wardell Gray, all these people that would be down there, everybody would be jamming. Central was the place that we went to to take care of business. We could shop, we could get hardware, newspapers were put out on Central. Central was almost like the main street and a small village. You could do anything there. So there you have it. Some things on Central Avenue are gone, but the music and the memories live on.